also can't have any space on this couch. It's for me. Hello. I don't really know what to say or necessarily what I'm going to end up talking about. Oh, you've started now. Yeah. Oh. I figured I would just hit record and we would figure it out oh, as okay. we went. Okay. You didn't, to be fair, you didn't, um, I need, how close do I need to hold this? I mean. Oh, all right. Yeah. To be fair, you didn't tell me what this video was either. So it's a surprise to all of us. Really, I don't really. Well, there's a couple of things. Um, her? I, Is she one Yeah. Of well, I, when oh. we got her, we wanted to do a video, <laughs> but I just, yeah. I didn't, yeah. I couldn't bring myself to making like a, a personal, video? A personal happy yeah. video. Because of the other thing that's been going on that yeah. I also wanted to talk about. So now this is like the happy personal <laughs> video that is also the sad thing. What is my hair doing? I don't know what side my hair flips on anymore. No. no. I'm going to start with uh, the big thing. Well, this, the big thing. that is the big thing. The other big the thing. The other big thing. Yeah. Uh, I'm taking a break. I'm taking my first real break, which I, I'm anxious even saying on talking about it. it yeah. I've built it up in my head so much over the last several months, yeah. knowing that I wanted to Let take... that. Oh, God. What is she eating? The cord. Oh, no. Give. I'm taking the entirety of January off. I've been doing YouTube now. I mean, I, I started the channel almost 10 years ago. It's coming up on 10 years ago. And I, I've been doing it full time for at least six years. Yeah. And uh, I've never actually taken a break, like ever. Um, not we've, an extended one. Anyway. No, we've taken like a week or Vacations two off. And stuff, but not Usually in January, we take a week or two off, but then we like, we travel, we like go home to Australia yeah. uh, or we uh, went to Japan. But that was over two years, years ago now. And then COVID happened. And I, I, you know, I figured there was nothing... We weren't going anywhere. We weren't doing anything. So I just, I just, I don't think I even took a break. I think the last couple of years, I just maybe took it a little easy, but worked right on through. And, and it's really caught up with me in more ways than one, um, with both of us, actually. Uh, I don't, this is where I don't know where to begin. You know, when we moved here to PA, we made a video when we were sat uh, in front of all our moving boxes talking about how happy we were that we moved. Mm -hmm. But truth be told, we were like not doing good no. at all. And we still aren't really. Yeah. The move was the hardest thing both of us has have ever done. Um, <laughs> I think we may have talked about it a little, but it, it was a nightmare. Everything went wrong. I, I got heat stroke trying to pack all these yeah. trucks on my own because we had two trucks and a trailer. We did this move like we've done all of the other moves, which is the two on our, of us on our own. packing the trucks. We've never had help. Furniture. Never yeah. had help. We tried to hire help. We tried to hire help and then they bailed on us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That so, yeah, we did it all on our yeah. own. And it was June in Texas. So it was hot. really, really hot. And we doubled the workload because we also moved my mom here. So yeah, and that's rough. And if you watch me on Twitch, you already know the story, and you probably heard it a couple of times. I haven't really said it here, but uh, you know, I'm not gonna go into everything else that happened. But it was a three day straight drive. Uh, our cat is being an idiot. He's just right now. I set up oh, a playing. I set up a Simpsons arcade. I'm just gonna show you. Yeah, show him show him what he's doing. He's trying to get the high school. I made a Simpsons arcade he's today and best. he's realized and he's decided it's climb time. Yeah. And he's climbing all over right, it. Now he's trying to get in the machine. Okay. Anyway, uh it was way harder than we anticipated mm -hmm. and uh I, I've skipped over a lot of stuff um to get to the point, but I ended up having a big breakdown, like a big mental breakdown. Yeah. Um we're about half an hour from finally getting here on the road trip and I had to pull the truck over on a highway and almost passed out on the side of the road and had what I think was my first real anxiety attack. Mm. I don't know. It sucked. Yeah. I was very scary. I couldn't get back in the truck. Um, my body just wasn't, my, my mind wanted to, I wanted, well, I don't know what wanted to, I wanted to be at the house. You wanted to be done. I wanted to be done, but I just couldn't physically get back in the truck and we yeah. were stuck there until... Um, if you want to be a part of it, be a part of it. Hi, <laughs> Jamie. And we were stuck there until highway patrol came and carried us off the highway 
Um, and it took us hours to finally get home because I kept having to pull over and breathe because I was just having multiple anxiety attacks. Well, it was also night, which I feel like is way harder with anxiety, at least for me, to drive. Well, we were rushing to get here before yeah. nightfall, yeah. which is why it was so stressful. Yeah. Anyway, uh, it was bad. It was bad to the point where I immediately got into therapy. I, I had anxiety attacks for about two weeks straight after that. It took a very long time for me to feel normal again. In fact, that really only started happening the last couple of months. Um, I've been pushing through all the videos. Can you stop biting everything, please? <laughs> all the videos, or all the streams, everything I've been doing. I mean, if you've been watching me on stream, I mean, I've broken down on stream multiple times. I, I have just been doing my best to hold on to get to January to take a big break. So uh, we're finally there. There are so many distractions in this video right now. I mean, I feel like it's a pretty accurate representation of how our minds have been working this entire time. <sighs> Kim decided somewhere in all this mess. Oh yeah, I had a brilliant idea. That it would be a good idea to get a puppy. Yeah, I thought, why not add more stress to our already stress and get a thing that needs us constantly? But um, honestly, I feel like it's one of the better decisions. Yeah, it, you might have seen her in some videos. <laughs> Again, it's been tough to want to talk too much about personal stuff lately. Yeah. But uh, it was a lot on us initially. The first three days, I genuinely felt like I was losing my mind. Yeah. Because we thought we'd done goofed. Because we could not handle the pressure of it. Like essentially I, a baby she is she's like it's like literally having a human baby for the first few days because like they don't know what's going on they can't tell you and you're just freaking out because you don't know what you're doing but i don't know we got through it this is the funny thing i think that whole situation and like the moving and everything has made us better like together yeah that's weird we talked about that a lot yeah both together and in We've therapy been talking a lot more lately i feel like than we have maybe like since when we first started dating we were like communicating a lot because we had to because we didn't live in the same place but i i feel like we're better at communicating now than we've ever been yeah, yeah. um so that's fun we've talked about that a lot yeah but uh kim has always dealt with anxiety and i was more on the depression side yeah. um but now that i've been dealing with it 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 literally developed into like agoraphobia mm -hmm. I couldn't leave the house. I still, I mean, I still can't. You I do, mean, I'm, you do do it. I'm doing better. Yeah. Um, but I hate it every time. <laughs> um, I went outside. I hate it every second. Of I hate every second it of it. It's the worst thing I've ever done. Uh, but yeah, it's made me way more understanding of what Kim deals with. And yeah, we talk yeah. constantly and we're helping each other so much. And we've always been, I mean, we're a great couple and we were a great couple before we yeah. went to move. And we'd, I feel like we'd, we wouldn't have gotten married we had, if we sucked. Yeah, we had, <laughs> yeah. We'd taken so many strides to get to that point though. Yeah. Like we'd worked on our, both of ourselves individually and our marriage and our relationship yeah. so much to get to a good part, point. Yeah. And then this, whatever we've gone through in the last six months has has tenfolded it. Yeah. Um, because- it's crazy. I, yeah, I mean, I, I couldn't have done any of this without Kim. Um, I would just feel so alone and scared. I, yeah. But, um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know how, like, how far in to go because it's such a long story. You know, it could be an hour long Twitch <laughs> stream and it has been. Yeah. But, uh, you know, after that big first attack, uh, I thought I was getting better slowly over the first few weeks. But then I just had that one time we went grocery shopping like a month in and I just yeah. had a big, another big anxiety attack yeah, and had to sit bad. down in the middle of the store. And then we tried to go back the next day. Cause I was like, I'm not going to let this defeat me. But then I, I couldn't step foot inside the store. I tried going in with you like three yeah. times and I just turned around and left and went back to the car and just bawled my eyes out yeah. because I didn't know what was happening. And I would, I would just, I couldn't be in there. I don't know why I'm filming this. I just don't know what's going to help.
yesterday I tried to go to the store with Kim and I got to the back and I had an anxiety attack and had to sit down in the middle of the store and then we left in a hurry and we couldn't get what we needed and I was terrified to go back again today but I wanted to do it because I wanted to conquer it and I took one step in the store and I had to leave and so Kim and her mom were shopping without me and I was like no this is stupid I'm being dumb and I talked myself down and I went to go back in and I didn't get any further and I had to leave and I don't know what's happening to me So yeah, I need I need a, like an actual break mm -hmm. with no YouTube, no Twitch, yeah, no anything. You probably won't see me for a while. You might see Kim. Kim, you got you could buy Kim's bears. <laughs> Kim's selling these guys on her Etsy, and she never told anyone. Just my bear hype man. Don't so you can him. you can go buy these. That would support us a lot and support <laughs> Kim a lot. Look how cute they are. They're so sweet. I've got a couple of video ideas planned, but I think for me, the anxiety was a little bit different. Like I do have issues. I've gone back to having issues with going places by myself. I used to have that. You, you remember? Yeah. Like when we were first married, it was really bad. And like, I hate that you understand it now, but like, that's what it was like. Yeah. It was miserable. It's I'm fighting against it now, mostly because I know that I have to. And I kind of like that I have to because it helps me somehow that I don't really have a choice <laughs> and I have to go get the groceries and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, but, I, uh, we wouldn't be we'd be ordering everything if it wasn't for you because I ain't going anywhere. And it is so expensive to have groceries delivered. But like the anxiety for me lately is not wanting to perceive myself so the idea of filming myself kind of makes me want to vomit so uh i'm working on that yeah that's I've, my, I've hated that's my january I've i'm hated gonna work on not filming doing that. i've hated every every time I i've know. had to film anything since we but moved that's your grocery store you feel like you have to do that and you don't have a choice so that's, i don't have a choice yeah. and i haven't had one the worst part of all of it was early, like early in the year i I booked all my sponsors yeah. and they're all contracts and I couldn't get out yeah. of them. I was, I was literally forced since we moved to make five to six videos a month yeah. and every single one has sucked. I haven't enjoyed a single podcast recording. I haven't enjoyed a single video I've made. I've just rushed and got through it as quick as I can. Yeah. And the Pokemon video about damn near killed me. I know that was the worst. One. I hated making that video. And I can't, that's not what, that's not what I want to feel when I work. I want to no. get my mind right. So I'm taking all of January to work on myself, get my diet back in order, get working out again, get my fitness back on track, spend some time with the new puppy because I feel like I've barely seen her other than when she sits down here with me when I edit. Which she does do a lot. She does do a lot and it's nice, nice. But I feel bad that I'm not like taking her for yeah, walks yeah. or I haven't had time to do anything. I um I thought you want to see what she was like because we took a bunch of videos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we drove to get her in like the most beautiful. It was such a cool drive. Farm scenic Pennsylvania drive. We also did it in the fall, which I feel like is the best time to see that area. It was just so pretty. When we went to get her, there was her and her sister. Yeah, Dahlia. Dahlia. It was Dala and Dahlia. And there's Dala. She's hey, so baby. small. She's so Look stumpy. Look at that shitty tail she has. <laughs> so she's so she's little. She's so tiny. She's so Feet tiny. We're the same size though. The weirdest part, because I'd never got a dog before. Yeah. We went to go see her <laughs> and she was like loving on us. Yeah. And then we were like, what do we do now? <laughs> and the lady was yeah. like, you just you, you go. You go. Just you go. go. So we started walking and she started following yeah, us. And I was, was like, crazy. what are you the, doing? The thing that was crazy to me was like, she knew that the transaction was happening because 
she went and said goodbye to each family member yeah. individually and then she started it, it did the seem car. like Dala went and said goodbye to all the it humans so and all sweet. the other dogs because yeah. she knew she was gone look how sweet I know she looks so nervous I can tell by looking at her that she I was know like she looked really nervous she didn't well she'd never been in a car before no. she didn't want to get in a car after that for a while but now she'll jump in the car because yeah, no, she, loves she the knows she's going to the she park she's going to the park and she's getting a puppuccino those are yeah, she loves a puppuccino. <laughs> oh, I have video of her oh, yeah. getting a puppuccino. Down a puppuccino. Oh, this is when she started playing with Siamy uh, for the first yeah. time. So when we first got her, we didn't know how the cats were going to adjust to it. No. They're literally fighting. I, I have a video of it here I'm trying to <laughs> show you. Doing it again. But they're doing it right now in real now, life. Because Siamy wants to be in the video. <laughs> All right, well, I guess I can just save the video with that yeah, one because yeah, yeah. uh, it's right there in person. Happening. Oh, here it there is. There you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. And then she spilled it She made everywhere. a mess. But yeah, I don't really have too much else. People keep asking us, like, how are you liking PA? <laughs> you happy with the move? And... We feel like Debbie Down is when we're like, we really, I, I've, I haven't left the house. <laughs> a mix of having to work too much, but also been terrified to leave. So I barely know what's out there. We haven't had a chance to really yeah. do anything or explore. Yeah. Um, and to be honest, I've been such a wreck emotionally and physically since we moved that it's been hard to not regret moving because of, how much it messed me up yeah and we've talked about that a lot we don't want to go back no that and would make it even worse but there's like, nothing for us there but there's a part of me that's like i wouldn't be like this if i i wouldn't moved. be like this if i moved yeah because it's it's if, again if you watch me on twitch you already know how bad it is and how bad it's been yeah but uh yeah you know, a huge thank you to all yeah. of our friends that have helped so much. Yeah. And they're also caring. I know it sounds silly to a lot of you. I think that a lot more people are going to be understanding than you think. But yeah, the move. But also I didn't realize how much working from home for the last half a decade messed me up. Yeah. Because I would go weeks and months without leaving the house. Yeah. Literally. Because you wouldn't have to. Weeks and months. I know. I wouldn't leave the house at all. And then COVID, you know, we didn't leave the house for like two years. Yeah. Unless we absolutely had to. Yeah. And now I'm like terrified to leave the house. Yeah. It was like a switch and I don't know what happened or why or when. But uh, yeah, I got to try and fix that. Yeah, I think that's it. Honestly, I'm even, I was even dreading making this video and I, I'm even at the end of my rope trying to make it. Um, I'm so stressed. <laughs> I mean, everything is stressing me out, including this puppy right now trying to eat this dang cord. So, yeah, I just need a break. And we have a new puppy. And I would be lost without Kim and all of you. So that's that's everything. And I'm hoping next time you see me in a video I record next um, that I'll be a newer, better version of myself and Kim too. Because Kim's going to be going on this journey with me and trying to straighten herself out as well. So, yeah, that's it. We have a new family now. And uh, we're going to take some time with our family to uh, get our heads in a better space. Because mm. right now they're in a pretty, pretty, pretty bad one. Yeah. So, all right, guys. I love you. And I'll see you as soon as I feel better. So, I love you too. Love you. Anything else you want to say? Uh, thank you for being here. And we'll see you when we see you. Go buy your bears. <laughs> Go buy them. Look how cute. Go buy them all. Okay, bye. <laughs>